When we are indoctrinated into obsessing over diversity, over our differences, our difference of skin colour, tradition or culture, then that obsession, that blind devotion to infect the next generation is making a terrible mistake that has enormous ramifications when considering a progressive, fundamental symbiosis of society. We are forgetting all the important ways that we are the same. We are being bullied into forgetting that we are all, fundamentally, the same. We are a single species, the human species. Shouldn't we be aspiring to ideas that unite us? As brothers and sisters of the same earth, E pluribus unum, out of many, one. There is a sinister plot to derange the ideologies and philosophies of the future, make no mistake, to purposefully usurp any meaningful progress. And what better way to accomplish this than to assault our children with relentless propaganda through schools, through TV, through radio, even online. This cult-like movement postulates that all previously accepted institutions of civilization were wrong. Traditions, sciences, religions, thousands of years of structural societal development, all wrong, all outdated, and no longer of any use to us as a species. To attack the fragility of our children's vulnerable minds with progressive pseudo-babble, which is nothing more than repackaged cultural Marxist ideology, pitting the proletariat against the bourgeoisie, that has now been extended further, creating multiple other conflicting areas within society, promoting race division, gender division, ideological division, political division, moral division. As discussed in a previous video, this psychological attack is designed to fragment society, to keep us sceptical, suspicious of one another, hateful, but fundamentally divided, against each other instead of for each other. It is a plot to ultimately debase society, and the gullible amongst us are helping to facilitate this war against reason, this assault against intelligence and critical thinking. Make no mistake, the psyches of the next generation and beyond are being terraformed. We are now told what to think, not how to think. We are told to follow fabricated delusions of a warped version of reality, a dystopic reality, or risk being cast into the furnace of social oblivion, or worse, having one's career dismantled destroying the ability to provide for one's family. We are allowing the minds of our next generation to be poisoned. Diversity, equity and inclusion are the subverted seeds of future separatism, inequity and exclusion. Brainwashing children is not educating children. I recently came across an article about a father who had removed his daughter from an elite all-girls Manhattan private school. Briuly. Andrew Gutman, 45, had announced in a letter that he had distributed to some 400 other parents that he had chosen not to re-enroll his daughter in the all-girls school where the annual tuition is $54,000. He pulled his daughter from the school over the woke anti-racism obsession. Again, he accused the school of teaching what to think not how to think. The first paragraph of the letter is as follows. Dear fellow Brearley parents, Our family recently made the decision not to enrol our daughter at Brearley for the 2021-22 school year. She has been at Brearley for seven years, beginning in kindergarten. In short, we no longer believe that Brearley's administration and board of trustees have any of our children's best interests at heart. Moreover, we no longer have confidence that our daughter will receive the quality of education necessary to further her development into a critically thinking, responsible, enlightened and civic-minded adult. I write to you, as a fellow parent, to share our reasons for leaving the Brearley community 
but also to urge you to act before the damage to the school and to its community and to your own children is irreparable. Resist the nonsense. Refuse to have your child indoctrinated. Wake up to the reality that woke is really a subversion of reality and should be treated as such. Woke literally represents the highest ignorance. Woke, surely in its present state, is equally the most ironic and moronic utterance that has ever existed in the history of sound and meaning. In every context, it is meant as enlightenment, illumination, but in truth, it defines the opposite and represents regression and darkness. Woke exemplifies how sick we have become as a society. It embodies and symbolizes everything wrong with present Western civilization. The movement of wokeism is an insidious attempt to shackle the minds of millions by destroying critical thinking and replacing it with vacuous, superficial and regressive ideology which caters for a specific purpose. The indoctrination of anti-intellectualism simply cannot be tolerated and collectively we have the numbers to make a difference. If people would only take a stand now and refuse to participate in this cheap parlor ruse before it's too late.